Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. I'm Nick Vinzay. And I'm Aliyah Shaheed. This morning, newly elected Congresswoman Ann Kirkpatrick hosted Congress on Your Corner, and it's the first time that's been done in quite some time. Kirkpatrick met with voters in front of the Safeway near Golf Links in Wilmot. News 4 Tucson's Danelle Confair was there and spoke with the Congresswoman. It's new at 530. Newly elected Congresswoman Ann Kirkpatrick, who represents the 2nd District of Arizona, meets with some of her constituents on Saturday to hear their concerns. This is the first time in several years that a congressperson has done a meet and greet at a local grocery store. It's really important to me to be in touch with my constituents, to be accessible. Uh, I ran on that accessibility to my constituents theme when I was running for the election. And so we're going to do it. We're, gonna, we're doing it today and we'll do many more of these and town halls. So I want to hear from people. It's very, very important to me. Veterans, kids and parents all here as topics range from gun safety to veterans benefits. I came out because I'm a service connected veteran and uh, recently one of the doctors from the VA told me that I needed CBD oil for my chronic pain and ever since I was on that and I've gotten off all the other pain meds I felt much better. So I came out here to make sure that she knows about that and that she can support CBD for veterans. One mom we talked to says she was happy to see her congresswoman host an event like this. I'm so glad that they have events like this because I think it really helps people to connect with the government and feel like their voices can be heard not just through emails and phone calls. Congress on Your Corner started off with Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords and was followed by former Congressman Ron Barber, who was also in attendance Saturday. Congresswoman Kirkpatrick hopes this is the first of many Congress on Your Corner events during her term. I'm Danelle Confair, News 4 Tucson.